Hello and welcome to my video blog. Today is December the 3rd of 2009 on a brisk and chilly Thursday afternoon here in Clinton, Mississippi. And I thought I'd share with you a few things that I have been pondering and thinking about. You know, you always know that you're headed in the right direction and good things are ahead uh, when things start shaking. Uh, have been feeling in my own spirit uh, some great things when I pray I feel a, a, a great sense of anticipation our services have been just off the chart we've just been having a good uh, visitor flow we've had returning visitors we've had, we've had new people in the altar and and uh, people wanting Bible studies and just all kinds of really good things and the music has been great the worship and the praise has been anointed and it's hard for me to judge sometimes by, about my preaching because it's, I'm the one doing the preaching but I can judge it by the response and the response has been just just awesome uh, seems like the Lord has just been moving in the, in the midst of the ministry of the word and um, the, the altar service that follows, that concludes those services, have been just really special. And, uh, you know, we're right there. Looks like something is just about to transform, and then all of a sudden, shaking. Shaking where you don't expect shaking. Shaking where you didn't anticipate shaking. Things that you expected to shake are shaking. It's all shaking. And, uh, and I've been here before. I have been in ministry uh, for almost 15 years uh, in pastoral ministry. I've been in the church and uh, uh, ha have learned a few things uh, along the way. And uh, so I am encouraged when the shaking goes on. It just says to me something good is about to happen. And uh, you can almost measure the size of the blessing that is coming uh, by the Richter scale that measures the the. the severity of the shaking. Uh, I've heard it said, and some of you may be familiar, that when they began to uh, fly the airplanes and try to break the sound barrier, that right as they would reach the sound barrier, they're at that speed of sound, the plane just began to shake. And uh, the pilot had to realize that the that, that he had to push through that shaking and it was at that point where he broke the sound barrier that everything smoothed out and everything that had shaken was no longer shaking because he had broke through that barrier. And so often in ministry and in our own personal walk with God, uh, I think that, that the elements around us and those uh, spiritual realities that are familiar with us, they recognize when something is about to change and uh, they do everything they can to distract us and no doubt if we live in an age that can be defined by a word a word that I would say is is the age of, of distraction we have too much information we have too uh, uh, too much uh, in entertainment we have too many choices we are in information overload. We are in technology uh, a blowout. Everything is pulling for us. Just now, my phone beat telling me I got an email. and Here in a minute, I'll, I'll find out I got a Facebook status update, and I'll see where someone responded to a Twitter. And, uh, you know, my phone's going to ring, and uh, someone's going to knock at the door, and uh, uh, I have somewhere I've got to be, and it's so easy in the process of trying to be focused when things start shaking, it's very easy for us to lose our focus and begin to react to the various distractions and to the various uh, things that would discourage us. But we have to maintain our focus. We have to maintain our our uh, diligence, discipline to keep pressing, keep praying, keep keep walking in the direction, even though there may be some shaking. And I'm encouraged. I believe 2010 is going to be a year of miracles. Uh, for us, 2010, we are going to be entering our seventh year. We will be celebrating our six-year anniversary in January. And I remember when we had that first service in a little rented room, 
we had so many people that were a blessing to us and so many people that were believing in us and praying for us. But after that first service, everybody had to go back home to their thing. They had to go back to their church. And, and uh, we found ourselves there on purpose, in the will of God. And it was a slow go. Sometimes there weren't very many people there. And we have been at this for six years. Turning the lights on, opening the doors, passing out tracts, teaching Bible studies, baptizing people, and going through this process of building a church. And, and I'm encouraged. I, I, I couldn't be more encouraged. Uh, you know, I don't understand some things that go on sometimes and why the Lord allows things to proceed in the manner that he does. But I have great confidence that I am in the perfect will of God. I am doing what God wants me to do. And, uh, you know, it wasn't too long ago uh, I was about to start building a building. We had plans. We've got a beautiful piece of property. Uh, everything was lining up. And we began to start that building process. And everything was green. And I remember one day in prayer, the Lord showed me something. And I remember when I saw it, it seemed to just, uh, it didn't seem to fit with where I was at that point. It's like the Lord was comforting me uh, that, that, you know, sometimes things are not going to go the way you want them to go. And in my mind, I'm like, Lord, how could they get any better? And then 2008 happened. And and the stock market fell, and the banks failed, and the government uh, failed, and the politicians failed, and uh, you remember, uh, people have lost their jobs, all this stuff, and, and I was so glad that we had not started what I thought we would start, and, and just the past few weeks, it seems like the Lord reminded me of that word he gave me, and I have I have enjoyed and, and basked and drew virtue out of that, that vision and out of that word that the Lord gave me that didn't make any sense at the moment, but it makes sense more and more every day. And uh, I am learning that, that in the process of trying to be involved in ministry and live for God and do what God has for us to do, um, it is the Lord that directs our path. And though I do believe it is the will of God for us to press and to be diligent and to be uh, uh, visionary in our effort, at the end of the day, things happen at the rate and the pace that God decides. And so I am reaching, I am stretching, but at the same time I am fully trusting that God is going to do what it is He desires to do and in His time. And I'll share this one, one last thing, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit uh, blogging, video blogging. Uh, when we first got to Clinton, the Lord spoke to me and, and gave me a vision. And without going into the great details, in the vision, I was trying to get somewhere in a hurry. I had, a, I had an appointment. I had been asked to be somewhere. And... and I did, and I was in my car, and I got in a traffic jam, and I got out of my car and was trying to, to get to this place, and then I, I couldn't get to this place, and there's a bicycle, and I, I couldn't get there on my bike, and, 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 and finally, I just had to walk. What the Lord had for me to do, I had to walk. And when I walked in the door, just as I walked in the door, someone called my name. And as I walked in the door and they called my name, they said, uh, it's your time. And I woke up and came, came to myself during this time of prayer. And, and it, it just struck me that we can get in a hurry all we want. We can press and try to make things happen ahead of time. But things are going to happen in time, on time, and in God's time. And I want to learn to patiently wait, to fervently press at the same time. And uh, that's kind of the, my thoughts. Amen. If there's things shaken, be encouraged. Welcome to the world of everyone trying to do something for God. There's a lot of shaking. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And uh, you just have to keep on praying, pressing, believing, and don't be distracted. Keep 